We do a lot of homeschool around here in the summer because I like the routine of it, but I tell you, if my kids are playing, using their imaginations, it is rare a day that I will call them in to do school. Yeah, I'm gonna add more flour. <laughs> this is not right. Found out what I did wrong. I don't know if I'll ever gift another loaf of bread again. Judah's downstairs packing. I am not okay about it. I changed my mind, you shouldn't go to Japan. It's a bad idea. Hey guys, good morning. It's not that early here <laughs> this morning. I got up, fed my children, and fed my sourdough starter. I did a workout. We did not get rain much this spring at all. We were really in drought. And now in July, we're getting rain all the time. I know a lot of you are in the same position as us, and we cannot complain about the rain in any way, shape, or form. So very thankful. Uh, we really, really needed it. Our ground here, out here, had huge cracks in it all over the place. So we're getting rain finally. And when I've been running in the mornings, my shoes are so soggy, they're like squish with every, <laughs> with every step. So there's benefits to running on grass compared to the pavement. And there's disadvantages too, especially if the boys had mowed an area that I ran in and it's really long grass, it's very, very wet. So I've been looking for other ways to work out. In the meantime, I've been finding myself working out about three or four times a week. It works really good. The days I don't work out though, I am much more tired and dragging. So today I got a workout in. I've been using a video that's about 20 minutes long. That's weights and I've loved it. I'll link it actually down below. It's like no repeat, which I've never done one of those before. Makes it go fast and makes it much more enjoyable. It's not too hard, but I really, really feel it the next few days, so that's good. Hi! Came down to take care of my birds. Can you turn that off for me? Oh, don't get close to the fence. There we go. <laughs> wow, you guys have a lot to say today. We have this poultry fencing that's electric that is very, very movable, um, but we sort of have Jimmy rigged it here. Solo's gonna fix something up so it goes up above the roof and has a clip we can just put on because we open it every day for them. We don't leave them in here all day, just all night. We don't even close their doors at night anymore because it's summer, it's hot. We just want it to be nice and breezy. They come in and out as they please. But at night we hook up the electricity just to keep them safe. That way if we don't come out right away in the morning, they're still out here picking up bugs and... Mom, that one was eating my dress over really there. <laughs> they love to pick at my toes. Hi guys! How's it going today? <laughs> the ducks are always scared of everything and the chickens always swarm us. So we only feed them at night. We bring out some fermented grains that we ferment. We throw it all over the ground even now. I, this process has evolved for us. Hey, someone's standing on my feet. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> everybody went flying. We fill up their water at night. That lasts the rest of the day. Uh, and then the ducks, we fill up their bath in the morning. So it's not much work in the morning except opening up their fence because we fill their water at night and it's been lasting just fine. Yeah, and then we're gonna go fill the ducks bath. <laughs> I don't have anything for you right now. <laughs> We collect our kitchen scraps all day and feed those to them at night too. So, those guineas are getting big. These guys are about five weeks from their, oh, when they maybe start, stop, that hurts. In about five weeks, they'll start laying, I think, or maybe a little longer. But in about five weeks is the day that we could process some of them. The guineas are fun. And we have one chicken that doesn't match. He came extra in the box. These guys are so fun, but yesterday they went, they usually stick really close around here, but it's been cooler the last few days, and I notice when it's cooler or in the evenings, they venture out more, the chickens. The ducks have been around longer, they venture out a little more. But the chickens finally <laughs> found the house and went around the house and found the front yard, so <laughs> we're just laughing because we were watching the cats interact with the chickens. Everybody was the dog sniffing the chickens again. Like, what are you doing up here? <laughs> this morning I watched two videos on how to process chickens. And the first one made me, whoa, be careful. <laughs> the first one made me really nervous. Did it hurt you? No. Oh, okay. And then the second one, by the second one I was feeling more confident. So I'm gonna keep watching videos, preparing myself. The ducks are the most fun to watch. I don't know why. It's the way they walk. I do know why. Whoever said ducks quack? 
They're wrong. They go <laughs> right. Do you think it sounds like a quack? No. <laughs> Me either. They make their tubs super gross every day. Hey Noel, you want to turn on the water for me, please? Thank you. What do you think? You want to try the tub? So we dump it out, clean it out, and refill it every morning. So did you know that ducks dig holes? I did not. They dig with their beaks. Because we keep the bird bath down here, they it gets real muddy and wet, and they have dug up some holes here. So that was interesting. They probably found some good eating in there. The chickens all went back to their yard area until they see me coming. But I wanted to show you one other thing that I discovered yesterday. Hi guys, watch out. <laughs> you can really step on them, I'm serious. They get right under your feet. This area over here that's not mowed, it's a big rectangle. This is our septic tank and we were told, <laughs> oh sorry, I literally can step on his foot, sorry. It's hard to film and walk at the same time around chickens. We were told not to put any big machinery, including our large lawnmower, on the uh, on the septic and our push mower is not working right now solo hasn't had time to work on it he thinks he can fix it but he just hasn't had the time so last night I was out here and I decided there was no bloom right there but I decided to use my plant app and just see what was out here because I was thinking I wonder if I could plant sunflowers out here well what do you know guys those are sunflowers I should have known because they're so tall and um, this morning a couple are open but that's really cool I didn't know we had sunflowers and it's a perfect spot for them I guess I don't know can you plant stuff on we were told we can't plant a garden on it but is it bad that the sunflowers are growing on it probably not right I've read that sunflowers absorb radiation does that mean it's bad to eat sunflower seeds and is it bad if you're eating sunflower seeds that grew on top of a septic tank that's contained, right? I have so many questions. But these things, some of them look almost twice my height. And I'm 5'8". I thought sunflowers would be blooming by now a lot more than those two little flowers I see. Maybe because of our drought, they're just catching up. I don't know. These chickens do love to go in there though. So do the ducks. They find lots of good stuff. All right, nobody's limping, right? From me stepping on them? I think we're okay. We've been doing school in the, this summer about three to four days a week. Works out really well for us, but yesterday, last night, when I was cleaning up dinner, I just decided to pull out the little girl's worksheets that they have to do today. They're the only ones that have worksheets, but I pull them out every day for them in the morning, but I thought, well, let me just pull them out, lay them on their desk. If they get up early, they could start working on them. This is a habit I used to have all the time of pulling out their work ahead. And so I put it on their desks and they started playing school, which they've been really into playing school lately and having fun doing that. They just play it like what they see on Little House. They have never been to a traditional school, but they've seen it on TV. So they play school and they decided to grab their worksheets. Somebody saw them on the desks and they got most of their work done last night. That was genius. I mean, they had fun with it. They did it well, and so today some of them decided, because they're playing school again this morning, I'm not interrupting that. <laughs> they decided to do some of their worksheets for the next day. So, yay, it's working out really well for me. I'm having a bowl of leftover beans and rice for breakfast. What? <laughs> I was gonna put a tiny bit of yogurt on top. Now I'm having yogurt with beans and rice. <laughs> it's honestly really good, but I need to quit trying to do things while filming. <laughs> All right, I was outside fixing up a bike. A costume got stuck in the chains. I guess we shouldn't be wearing costumes on our bikes. Uh, <laughs> Judah is packing today. Yesterday was really hard for me. Judah's leaving in a, in a week and a half, and I think it's really starting to hit me, the changes that are happening at our house. We're used to changing numbers of people around our table a lot, but we're used to adding only and never have subtracted before. He'll be gone for a year to Japan. We will see him a little in there, um, but it's just hard. It's different changes. It was harder to be in a good place. Today, I'm in a good place. It's gonna be so good for him, right? It's gonna be good for him. Anyway, I just, I had very little motivation yesterday. Lots of factors, not just Judah leaving. I spent too much time on my phone yesterday. I didn't get a lot done. One good thing I did is before I went to bed, I had the whole house cleaned up. 
and that did help me today because I woke up to a clean house fresh start you know sometimes you need those fresh starts but I was just on my phone too much yesterday I just had no motivation so today my phone is living right here in this corner of my kitchen plugged in if I need to t reply to a text or do anything it's right there, it's it's in timeout. Today I do feel much better and I'm getting a lot done. It's actually almost, it's 11.30. Thank you, you want some water? That means yes. <laughs> anyway, it's okay to have those rough days. I think it's fine. Sometimes you gotta just give yourself a day to let things go and just let it be what it's gonna be. But I sort of had two of those days. <laughs> the first day wasn't as bad. I do not want three of those days, so today, Got up, got some exercise, getting some stuff done, changing my mindset. <laughs> Tori's been doing it, her, well, after she did her hair, she's been doing the other one's hair. No, right now me and Desi are doing tricks, and so, so her hair doesn't <laughs> fly around in my face, I'm braiding her hair. Oh, uh, <laughs> is that it? But you did do no, Noelle's. Well. hair is practicing, because I also want to be a hairdresser when I'm older. Oh, I think you'd be a great hairdresser. Okay, Desi, put your hands up, okay? Now ready, set, go. Okay, now we spin and then go. <laughs> wow. Her hair needs to come out of braids. That is like ASAP, needs to be done. Okay, wait, watch. Uh, hers need to come out too, but it's not as urgent as hers. Okay. Wow. What's your trick? Wait, hold, hold, Superman. Wait, set some good. Oh, nice. Good job. <laughs> Do you guys want a disgusting fly update? We've had this contraption for about for about four or five days, and it is thick with flies. And we still have a lot of flies, but it's much better. Excuse the costume explosion out here. <laughs> it's much better, but um, obviously it's still catching them. I don't know when we need to refill it, but probably now. <laughs> and there's definitely a smell to it. I don't, I don't think it's very, it's not something we want around all the time, but it's helping right now. We probably need one on our front porch. You're not supposed to use combs for curly hair, but um, whenever your hair is dry, you should never come in out with your fingers either. Only when it's wet. Is that what she was telling you? Oh boy, the curls are really popping today. I like it. B. The Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Acts 16, 31. C. Children no, no, obey your parents in the Lord when this is right. And he said, 6, 1. D. Do not hide from evil and do good. Snorkeling, 4.14. And last one, O. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Wow, Desi really loves this. <laughs> Peace, are you learning? No. <laughs> <laughs> we love these tops I got on Amazon. The straw didn't come with it. Oh. Sure, you can get a straw. But the tops screw right on, not the wide mouth jars, but the regular, what do they call it, regular mouth? They come in packs of four and they really are wonderful for smoothies, right, Peace? Are they good? <laughs> okay, look at this hair, it dried and it is something else. The curls, wow, Tori, good job. All right, I broke my phone rule. These guys were playing. Oh, okay. They were playing with the hose. And so I sat out there in that chair on the phone, talked to my mom for probably an hour. <laughs> oh, okay. My mom was in town and now she's at my brother's house and she had some time and I love talking to my mom on the phone. So that was good rest time <laughs> in the sun. I think something else that contributed to my rough couple days was it was very cloudy. I don't know how people in Seattle and Portland do it because I need the sun a lot. So if you combine some hormones with some transition, with some dark clouds <laughs> for days on end and no exercise, I'm gonna find myself very unmotivated for a while. How, how do those 
Northwest people do it. I could live in Florida. I'd be a very productive person in Florida. We do a lot of homeschool around here in the summer because I like the routine of it, but I tell you, if my kids are playing, using their imaginations, it is rare a day that I will call them in to do school. Rare. I will let them play. I, I think they learn so much by just playing, using their imaginations, like yesterday they did their school. Noelle has, she was such a hesitant reader, such a hesitant reader. She's eight and just now learning to read, but she writes whole books for fun. And her spelling is actually pretty good. <laughs> she, the kids learn by playing and have so much fun with that. And I love that today is good weather and they've been out a lot. I have not stopped them for school. If they're inside, I'll be like, here, let's do some school. And then they scurry back on out, <laughs> on out really quick. Also these friends here, they're good friends brothers and sister and they just play all day long what a beautiful bouquet and there's another one there and i'm in another we need a new jar oh maybe it'll fit oh you may got one too huh so judah how was lunch with grandma it was great did it feel like a goodbye lunch <laughs> she sent cookies and chips she saves her cookies and chips for us Turns out grandma's kind of popular over at her place. <laughs> yeah. that even with the me. servers, the servers knew exactly what to bring her. All the people were, were talking to her, teasing her. She seems like, <laughs> she's like the popular girl at high school. Yeah. In the cafeteria. <laughs> I love it. My two sourdough starters are going strong and ooh, bubbly. I was going to make some big loaves. I make four at a time, but it's so much work and time. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll do English muffins. When I was with Lisa, who gave me her sourdough discard, she told me she is about to have her eighth child any moment. And she told me that she does English muffins all the time. It's just so easy and quick. And it's one I haven't tried yet. So I thought I'll do that. All I have to do is mix up the dough right now. And then I don't deal with it till tomorrow. It's a lot less time. Then you just kind of fry them in a frying pan. I can link down below the recipe that I'm gonna use. And maybe I'll show you a picture at the end of this to see how it turned out. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just do that. It sounds easy and quick. But I'm gonna quadruple her recipe, of course. All right, we pulled out some entertainment because Hope is getting her braids done. And that is definitely a time we pull out entertainment. <laughs> Everyone else is getting some entertainment out of it too, which is okay with me for now because peace is sleeping. It's kind of quiet in the house. I'm always trying one one of each from Lisa and Anna. Anna is my 100-year-old starter. Lisa is my 12-year-old starter from Lisa. They're always competing and they always turn out exactly the same. <laughs> well, mine seem way more waterier than hers did. I don't know if I lost count. With my flour? No, I did four cups of flour, two cups of water, and some a cup of starter. Yeah, I'm gonna add more flour. <laughs> this is not right. Found out what I did wrong. See what that says right there? Apparently I don't take the time to read. I started grinding my own wheat here. Mostly I've been using some like all-purpose white flour when I've been trying sourdough because I just want to get confident with the recipes before I start replacing some with freshly ground flour, which I do know changes things a little, but... <laughs> It does help when you actually use flour, not powdered sugar. Thankfully, I fed each of these with a cup of flour this morning, Lisa and Anna, so I think they can give me a cup, another cup easily. So, well, let's do this again. That was a massive waste of powdered sugar. Like, huge waste. This looks much more normal, but I had to move it to the big silver bowls. I don't have big glass bowls. And it was too big for what I put it in. So hopefully the silver is okay. That was embarrassing. Do you wanna know other embarrassing things in my life? This morning, Destiny was eating a piece of sourdough bread as we were having sourdough toast for breakfast, which is really good. Let there be light. She pulled a big, long hair out of her piece of bread. Do you know how many loaves of sourdough bread I have given away in the last month? A lot of them. Feeling all Holly Homemaker every time I do it. Like, have a loaf of beautiful, delicious sourdough bread. How many people have gotten hair? My hair. And people are disgusted by hair. I cannot tolerate my own hair in the summer. I have heavy, thick hair and is always up. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. <sighs>
felt like a big loser. I don't know if I'll ever gift another loaf of bread again. And I'll show you the other embarrassment of my life after I mix this. Okay, I am going to go show you the other embarrassing thing, but I have been in the, going to cover these. Ooh, make them tomorrow. I've been in the habit of making something sourdough three days a week. And when I learn something new, I have to do it a lot of times for it to feel comfortable. I think most people are probably like that. So helps me to keep doing it over and over and over. I've made a lot of loaves of sourdough bread, a lot of sourdough bagels, a lot of sourdough Dutch babies, some, quite a bit of sourdough pizza. Now we're trying the English muffins. I was talking to my friend Jay Morale Stewart and she is also having the summer of sourdough. So together, <laughs> we have the same starter. <laughs> we're both doing the summer of sourdough and we're learning it all. And it's fun. It's fun seeing her do it too. I watch her I'm making the same things I am. <laughs> We're just on the same plane right now. I always keep Lisa on the left and Anna on the right. And that way I know if, whoops, that way I know if one of them is better than the other. But so far, like I said, they've always been turning out the same. So today's the first day in my, I have three days of exercise a week, about three days of school, three days of sourdough. They're not all the same days. <laughs> Today they all were. <laughs> Here's the other embarrassment of my life. So many weeds. I have not done a good job keeping up on the weeds. I don't even know what to say about it. I have no excuses, except that I don't like to pull weeds <laughs> and I'm going to have to learn how when my life calms down a little bit. In fact, let me give you a little better look at some of them. They've become their own creature. They've started their own garden. There's some real flowers peeking out in there, but the rest, are not real, they're fakes. Keeping my sink clean has been keeping my sanity, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash up my sourdough mess quick. Okay, I got some tallow started out here on my deck. This thing from Tractor Supply Company has been great. I've used it several times for my pressure cooker or crock pot. Keeps the smell outside. It also frees up counter space, which is great. I don't love the smell of tallow when it's cooking. This is a fat from a beef. We have a lot of bags of it still. So I've been working through a bag a day. This is about two quarts that it makes me of tallow. And yeah, I just let it cook about on high, about four hours seems to work really well. Then I strain out all that fat stuff and get it in jars where it cools. And then I've been freezing it because it lasts like six months on the shelf and I have plenty out right now. And we feed the fat part that's left over to the chickens. Is it good for the chickens? I, I don't know, but they do love it. <laughs> they eat it. Is that not the cutest thing? Brick has the cutest little sleeping positions. <laughs> He's got his arms crossed. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't step on him, Axel. Judah's downstairs packing. I am not okay about it. I keep telling myself today, it's gonna be so good for him. When I focus on how good it's gonna be for him, it helps. <laughs> Seth and I are going for a walk to the water. Not to be confused with a long walk to water, which is a good book. Oh, there's trash under there. The wind blew it. Those chickens are running toward us. They think we have food, always. Things I learned this year, alfalfa has purple flowers and is actually very beautiful. Who knew? Not I. The gator died over here yesterday. <laughs> Ran out of gas. This is our future driveway right here. From up there, down into there. Can't wait. I can see it. Check this out, we have so many um, volunteer baby trees. Nebraska is not known for trees, so these things make me so happy when I see one doing well. This is prairie land and why our property is so unique. We just prayed for trees and water. I still can't even believe we have, he's just talking to me. <laughs> oh, okay, the guineas are gonna come? Oh, the kitties. I still just can't believe that we have trees and water in Nebraska. Wow, we got some big mushrooms. I gotta learn about mushrooms. Oh, look at that one. Okay, Nessa, I don't know if that's a good one for you. We just realized there's a crop duster flying a couple acreages over. Not really sure if that means we should be inside right now, probably, but for how long? Like two hours after a crop duster? Mm, yeah, hopefully it's staying on that property. The wind's actually blowing toward it, so maybe that helps. With all the rain, our water is still very, very low. That tree branch used to be almost hidden, and of course it ends there where it used to go way back into the neighbors. 
We have friends bringing their jet ski out here in, uh, or next week, but I just don't even know if it's deep enough that it's gonna be any fun. Those look like water lilies that are out of the water. <laughs> what did you find to take home? There's a gun going off. <laughs> it's not ours. Are you gonna make something? No. No. Someone's shooting something. Target practice. Okay, we're making dinner tonight and I have recruited some help. Seth is helping by observing. We're making a pasta Caesar chicken thing. Mike is doing the chicken. I am doing the bacon and I'm about to make some croutons. I'm gonna do some lettuce and Parmesan cheese. Judah's doing pasta and Caesar salad. I mean, Caesar dressing. New knife for the sourdough. Well, should I put the chicken? Uh, it has to be real hot so it doesn't stick. I changed my mind, you shouldn't go to Japan. It's a bad idea. A little late for that. Just a bit late. Just a bit. We could turn in the tickets, go to Hawaii for one week. <laughs> oh, that looks good. We have a lot of help in this kitchen. Are you helpful? <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She thinks that means yes. Parmesan, he's still making the dressing. Noodles are cooking. Chicken is frying. Croutons are baking. Oh, those have to come out. Some chicken done. Bacon crumbles we threw in the oven on that tray which makes them really good. It makes it taste like just fresh bacon, which it now is, I guess. I think three is the max capacity for the baby kitchen. I don't know, I'd say two. Three's pushing it a little bit. It is. <laughs> we are tripping over each other a bit. But it makes the meal get done much faster. Yep. Are you being so helpful, Pete? <laughs> I just can't stand it. You're so cute. Are you gonna miss Judah? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so bacon, pasta, we're using whole wheat penne, parmesan, Caesar dressing. We're adding a little more chicken that Mike is still cooking. And the original recipe I saw called for lettuce, which we thought we had when we started making it, but we realized the little lettuce we had left was bad. But I think it would have been hard to make alone because so much of it was made from scratch. <laughs> it was very helpful to have three people cooking different parts of it. And our official taste tester. Is that your job? <laughs> That's delicioso. <laughs> You've become an expert chicken fryer. Has it gotten better, easier? Yeah, a bit. You learned nothing? I mean, like, I just found um, a better at it. Oh, okay. Not like, yeah, you do this and then. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? It's really good. Tori got a lot of her braids out today. I did only about four of them. She did a whole bunch. Just a random chicken in the front yard. <laughs> Back into the costumes. They're solo, bringing the RV home from the shop so it can go out to renters in a couple days. <laughs> this RV's had a busy year. We do like it here in front of the house a lot because the door is there and we can use it. Like if someone wants to sleep out there or several someones, it's very easy to access, but it is also our driveway to our new house. So when the building starts, it won't work very well unless we find them a new driveway. Peace, is it good? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, that was a good dinner. We have a little leftovers for the boys to take to tasseling tomorrow. More than enough. And some leftover Caesar dressing, homemade Caesar dressing. That was super good. I'm going to make sure this kitchen gets completely cleaned up. It's a mess right now. <laughs> Work with my kids, gonna take care of the birds and the cats, and get some kids to bed. But first, unbraid some hair with Tori, who's doing a very good job by herself. I'll try to include a picture of English muffins at the end of this. I hope you had a great day, or have a great day. And we'll talk to you soon, bye. And then I told actually inside job, I do this thing. Peace, do you like to help? <laughs> this is the next morning the English muffins. They don't look perfect, but they taste amazing. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs>